everybody, welcome or welcome back. I'm back with another doll haul. Not as many as last time, not 70, but about half that, about like 35-ish. I've organized everything by kind of smallest to largest packaging wise, so the beginning of this video might be a little underwhelming, but definitely stick around to the end. There's a lot more variety in this haul. From what I believe, I'm pretty sure it's not just Mary-Kate and Ashley this time. Yeah, even though obviously, as you can tell, I love Mary-Kate and Ashley, but let's go ahead. Let's just start opening these. It is very hot here in New York City today. I, I was ordering some like doll accessories. I've also been ordering some loose dolls just to sort of restyle and to practice like repairs on. Along with that, I yeah, I also ordered tiny little accessories for a doll that I'm gonna open later. One of her accessories was missing. So here we have, oh my gosh, they gave me candy, little lifesavers. That's cute. I actually, I really love these. So yum, yay, okay. And then our first item today, super exciting. Oh, and then I have to show you something else that I already opened, yay, okay. So it's a little microphone for one of my dolls who, I'm looking for the other thing that I wanted to show you, but I don't see it. There was, there was a, a little scooter that I also got that I wanna show you, but I, I don't know where it is. So let me put this somewhere where I don't lose it. As you'll see later, one of the dolls that I ordered is complete, except I think she's missing her microphone. So let's go ahead and let's move on now to the next one. So this feels like it is a doll. Yeah, I, again, I'm just really bad at opening things when I get them because for the most part, I like to show you guys and I like to record my reactions and stuff like that. So, oh my gosh, okay. So this is the legendary Miss Britney Spears. <laughs> who I did receive this doll in box before, but I wanted to get this one so that way I can practice trying to learn how to fix these patches on her outfit that are disintegrated and yeah, and her hair definitely looks like it could use a little bit of fixing up. I mean, while we've got her right here, I'm curious, is she bald? Uh, no, not really. Okay, cool, good, good to know. We'll fix her up in another video, but I'm glad to have her. Let's go ahead and move on. Okay. So I ordered not just one scooter, but two, because I really wanted to have scooters. And it's because I ride a scooter here in New York. And so I wanted my dolls to have scooters too. So I think these are so cute. So, okay, so here we have something a little bigger and a little heavy. Yay! We have another lot of Mary-Kate and Ashley dolls that are just, you know, loose out of the box. And I'm planning to do a little bit of fixing up on some of them. We have some really cute ones and I'm very happy to have all of these. I actually have been really needing some of these too. So yes, I'm very happy to have these. And that's not all. There is also a lot of cute accessories down in here. Yeah, there's there's some fun accessories in here and little furniture pieces, some clothing. I'm very excited about these. Mary and Ashley doll fans know that this is a part of the beach set and these little chairs are so cute. And I got extra pillows and other fun stuff. So I'm very happy to have these. And also some of the dolls that came in here have pink eyebrows. I don't know if you can tell, but their eyebrows are pink compared to the average Mary-Kate and Ashley doll who has just like, you know, normal blonde brown. And these are like purple pink. I'm so happy to have her. <gasps> and she's wearing a part of her, her original bathing suit. Oh my gosh, she's wearing, wow. This is just crazy because these dolls are really rare, okay? And I don't own them in box. I would love to own them in box someday, but for now, out of box. I'll take what I can get. I'm very happy. Let's continue on. Yeah, I've been working on my out of box Mary Kate and Ashley dolls because I'm trying to display every single outfit and every single doll that was ever released in the Mary Kate and Ashley brand. So let's go ahead and open this one next. Okay, yay, oh my gosh. This was gifted to me by my really good friend, April, who's on our podcast. Definitely check her out and check out our podcast. I'll link it up here, okay. We have Miss Hilary Duff, brand new in box. And this packaging is so cute. And a fun fact about this doll is that a lot of people use this doll and this face mold 
to make Mariah Carey dolls because I don't know. I who do you think she looks more like, Mariah Carey or Hillary Duff? I see a bit of both, but I almost see more Mariah, which is so funny. But she's she's so cute, and the outfit is so gorgeous, and the accessories are so cool, and I'm so grateful for this. Thank you, April. I really appreciate it. Let's keep moving. Oh, yay! Okay, here we have just some random dolls that I bought for different purposes. Like, I, I love this outfit so much. I think it's really cute. I don't know who the doll is, but her hair feels really gross so i want to clean her up i love doing that i love cleaning up dolls and i also got this girl right here little miss tinkerbell who looks a little bit of a mess right now but honestly i got her because i've been trying so hard to find a a body with more articulation to try and experiment with mary kate nashley dolls but i don't think they're really a close color match so I don't know. I, I do, I love Tinkerbell regardless, and this outfit totally looks like it can be usable. So she's still cute. And then, yeah, just a bunch of other random dolls who I'm so excited to give a makeover to. Like, look at this, this fluffy mess. This one, oh my gosh. You guys are probably like, why on earth would you do this? But I love it. <laughs> cute. Next. Yeah, you'll notice there's some out of box but I think there's a lot more inbox stuff. Just wait. We're, we're doing the small boxes first. Oh, well, yay. So here's an inbox that I will take out of the box soon, but this is sit in style Barbie. And I I don't want to spoil anything, but I, I really like the sit in style Barbie. I also really like all of these other Barbies. And I just, I love the chairs. It is like ultimate late 90s, early 2000s aesthetic that I'm obsessed with and is on brand for my collection in general because as you may notice if you watch my videos and from what you might see here, most of my dolls are from no later than 2005. Except for Little Miss Halle Bailey and Amanda Bynes over there. Oh wow, wait, hold up, hold up. Oh my gosh, is this... <laughs> I did not plan on this. I swear I just organized all the boxes by size pretty much so that way they could stack on top of each other a little more easily, but... Yeah, when, when I said that I, I liked these, these dolls, I really meant it. Um, and I got them. They were all like, they were, they were not crazy expensive. They were like $20 each pretty much. So the only thing is all of their sunglasses have like melted. I don't know if you can see very well, but the sunglasses have kind of melted, but I didn't really get them for the sunglasses. I just got them because the outfits are cute and the chairs are so cool. Hopefully the chairs work. Hopefully there's no like holes in them and I can blow them up because I really want to, so. And her box looks a lot better than the Barbie, so. So this is another thing that I had as a kid and I got this for such a good deal. I got it for like $20, which these dolls usually go for like 50-ish here and there. But yeah, these are Mary Kate Nashley, but they're half the size. They're 12 inches. Unfortunately, they don't have rooted hair, but I had these as a kid and I got such a good deal on it. So I'm, I'm glad to have it again. They also had an airplane that I do have at home that I'm, I really want to get and put them in the airplane. Yeah, these are so cute. I love them so much. Another one. Oh, yay. Wow. So here we have the Mary Kate Nashley Cool School Fashion Pack. And I think these outfits are really, really cute. And I don't have them in box yet. And I wanted them in box. So now I do. And I'm so happy. Yay. Love it. <gasps> oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is that everything? Yay. You guys, you need to check out Doll Fun. I'm so grateful for them. They are such a great shop. They have such great deals and such good things. If you watched my last videos, you saw that I bought from them before and they're so nice. Thank you, Doll Fun. So what I have here, wow. So here I have my official out of box, Mary Kate Nashley at the beach, Walmart exclusive. Yes, these are the same ones with the pinkish purplish eyebrows and they're in their complete outfits except the shoes, which is okay. And we do have the, the chairs here along with some other fun accessories from the curl and style Mary Kate Nashley dolls. 
But again, these ones are so beautiful and I can't believe that they owned them. There's a pigeon outside. I can't believe that they owned them and had the outfits pretty much complete. They had the chairs. Only thing that's missing really is they came with these cardboard surfboards and shoes, of course. But I have shoes that are the exact same as what these ones came with because Mary-Kate and Ashley dolls would reuse a lot of the same shoes and a lot of the same shoe molds and I have I think the same exact ones in the same exact color so I'll be able to complete their outfits and I'm so excited for it. Let's do this. Oh, I know who this is from. This is from a really, really nice person on Instagram who gave me a really good deal on some dolls that I've been needing. I'm so excited to finally open this. I've had it here for a couple days now. Oh my gosh. So here we have the Look Who's 18 Ashley, who I do not have up until right now. And I'm so glad that I have her. Today is actually Mary-Kate and Ashley's birthday. It's June 13th as I'm filming this. So happy birthday, Mary-Kate and Ashley. This doll is so pretty. And I think she's also like the darkest hair that we've ever had on an Ashley doll. She has a lot of low lights. That's so cute. I love it. And I love her outfit. And then he also gave me these out of box New York Minute dolls that I just love these ones so much. They have such nice long hair and earrings and I'm, I'm in love with them. So. Oh my god, and she has the bracelet too? Yay! And the shoes also. Wow, thank you Jordan. They're in such good condition. Okay, let's do this one because this box is kind of rough. <gasps> oh my gosh. So I've been wanting this doll for such a long time and she is so, so expensive. If you're looking for her brand new in box, perfect condition, complete, she's so expensive. This one right here has clearly been taken out of the box, which I knew before buying. And other than that, she has her shoes. She has everything. She is everything. She just doesn't have her microphone. So that is why I got this. So that way she can sing for us. And, oh my gosh. I've been wanting her for so long and she, yeah, she's so expensive. But because of the condition that she's in right now, being that she's been, you know, removed from the box, the box is not amazing condition and she's missing the microphone. I was able to find her for like half the price of what she normally goes for. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, this is my moment. I want her so bad because uh, yeah, it's just, it's such a beautiful doll, needed it. Let's move on. Yeah, please leave me a comment if you own any of these dolls that I'm opening. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! This is also so exciting for me. And another thing that I've been wanting for so long, and another thing that is usually so expensive, but I got such a good deal on. And I've learned my lesson to just not buy things, like when you see them listed, and to just wait and wait until a good deal comes up. Because I got her for such a good deal, and I am I really love the Generation Girl Mattel doll line, and so many of them are so cool to me. They also have these cool bedrooms, and this is the bedroom that I knew I wanted so bad because it has this cute fish tank, this cute blow-up chair. As you know, I have a thing for blow-up chairs. And then on the back, you can see some of the other rooms that they have. The scooter that I just opened by itself a moment ago is actually this scooter from this room, which I would like that room, but I think this is the only room I really need, so. And I don't want to open it because the packaging is so cool and like 3D. It's not just like a flat, you know, plastic cover. Yeah, but I think I do want to open it and I want to make an actual foam board little room for her. So, and the doll is so pretty too, like, come on. She's really pretty. Her name is Anna, I think, or Anna. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, such a good deal for her. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I do wanna say thank you again for everyone who entered my giveaway and everyone who shared my video, shared my account, everyone who's following me, everyone who subscribed to me. Wow, I did not plan this either, but here we have a really, really cute seashell. Just kidding, I think this is for packaging purposes. But here we have more, more Generation Girl. This is one of the other Generation Girls that I really wanted. This box is kind of dirty, but it's okay. This I definitely wanna unbox, like no, no second thought about it. But I. Think she's so cool. I love her athletic accessories, the little snowboard. So cute. The helmet is so cute. It's gonna go perfect with my scooter. And I had to get 
Hold on. Jack just sent me an eBay listing. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Whenever Jack or someone sends me an eBay listing, it's like, I freak out. Okay, wow. $400? Okay, this is crazy, but also potentially a good deal for someone. Wow, I'm not gonna get it, even though it has so many things that I want, but so many things that I also already have and I don't need any of this stuff, but that is cool. Wow. Yeah, he just sent me this huge Mary Kate and Ashley lot with tons of accessories, tons of dolls, tons of clothes, but it's $400 and I, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Let's move on. I have a problem. Yeah, whenever someone sends me an eBay listing, it's like the whole world stops and I'm like, what? What is it? Okay, so yes, I had to get the other, the other Tori because again, so cute. Another cute helmet in there and a, a skateboard in there too. And I love this outfit too. Oh, and the hair is so long. I'm in love with her. I'm obsessed. I, I love these Generation Girl dolls. There are two more that I really, really, really want. Let's continue. Cute. They sent me a really nice thank you card. That is a little spoiler alert. Thank you, my collection to yours. Oh, that's such a cute name, my collection to yours. Oh my gosh, so you guys, you guys are gonna hate me. Wow, wow, yes. So, okay, so I've been looking for this doll like really good in box. I got her okay in box. She wasn't great and I knew it when I bought it. It wasn't a surprise to me and that's what I paid for. But when I got it, the silver bag was stuck to the plastic up here. And when I tried to pull it apart, the fabric completely disintegrated and it was a little bit of a disaster. And I'm actually in a restoration process right now where I'm trying to restore it. And then I would love to have one out of box like the one that I just got, but I'm, like I said, I'm practicing restoring and I think this is a good project because because I have other material like this material that disintegrates and I wanna learn how to take care of it and fix it, but this is stunning. Funny thing, this doll comes with two pairs of shoes, the red shoes, and then there's a clear pair of like, there's a pair of translucent shoes right next to the red shoes, like these sparkly shoes. And Brittany wore neither of these shoes in this music video. She wore black sneakers. So that was a big box. I'm gonna take a break and try to decompress all these boxes. I will have part two next week. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so grateful for you all and I'll see you next time for more. Bye.